Have you ever cried day and night? Has your soul ever been filled up with troubles? Have you ever felt like one set loose among the dead? Have you suffered terrors, feeling helpless? Have those closest to you ever hurt you so badly that you felt trapped as if you were dead? Is it comforting to you to know that there is a chapter in the Bible written exactly for these times? The author of Psalm 88 cries day and night, he says in verse 1, because his companions have turned on him, verse 8 and 18, so that he stands exposed to serious threats against his life. His thoughts are so dark and morbid that he sounds suicidal. My life draws near to Sheol, the realm of the dead, he says in verse 3. I'm like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, verse 5. He feels that God had put him in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep, verse 6. He's so sad that his eyes grow dim through sorrow, verse 9. He can barely see any light. There are very few bright spots in Psalm 88, and they are subtle. First, the author still prays. He hasn't given up on God. In fact, tribulations seem to have intensified his prayer life. I cry out day and night before you, verse 1. Second, his questions like, do, do you work wonders for the dead? Do the departed rise up to praise you, imply that God will rescue him from the threat of death. He believes, as Jesus said in Mark 12, verse 27, that God is not God of the dead, but of the living. Third, he calls on the God of my salvation, verse 1. The same God who brought him down will also bring him up. Sometimes our lives are more darkness than light. But this is just the reason why Jesus came. The Hebrew word for salvation in verse 1 is the root of the same word from which the name Jesus comes, Yeshua. Jesus is the light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness has overcome it, has, has not overcome it. That's why he's our salvation. The Lord is our salvation. That's the name the meaning of the name Jesus. Our hope for salvation is not in the light that we feel, but in the light of the world, John 8, verse 12, who never ceases to be light, no matter how great our darkness. Let's listen to Psalm 88. A song, a psalm of the sons of Korah to the choir master, according to Mahalath Leonath, a masculine of Haman the Ezrahite. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my soul, my life, draws near to Sheol. I'm counted among those who go down to the pit. I'm a man who has no strength like one set loose among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more. For they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the depths of the pit in the regions dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with all your waves, Selah. You have caused my companions to shun me. You have made me a horror to them. I'm shut in so that I cannot escape. My eye grows dim through sorrow. Every day I call upon you, O Lord, I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the departed rise up to praise you? Is your life, your, your steadfast love declared in the grave? Or your faithfulness in Abaddon? Are your wonders known in the darkness? Or your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O Lord, cry to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. O oh Lord, why do you cast my soul away? Why do you hide your face from me? Afflicted and close to death, from my youth up, I suffer your terrors. I am helpless. 
Your wrath has swept over me. Your dreadful assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long. They close in on me together. You have caused my beloved and my friend to shun me. My companions have become darkness.